Hello again, Craig here from the Preppersstop.com. This short video is going to be very important because we're going to cut through a lot of the lies that a lot of water filter manufacturers claim about their products. Now, this is very, very important. We're talking about ceramic type filters here. What you see right here is what they call an aqua rain. It's very similar to the Berkey, the British Berkefeld, the Pro Pur. These are all different brands of ceramic water filters. What do I mean by that? The filter element, like this, is made of ceramic. The water slowly percolates through there and comes out the bottom inside. And this is what it looks like inside the unit. You have, this one has one filter, but it has another hole down there so you can put two filters in there. So the more filters, the, qu the quicker the water is going to flow through. These are ceramic based. What that means is that it's made of a ceramic. It slowly shifts through there. Basically, um, this is a 0.3 micron ratings. The Berkey, for instance, is a 0.9 micron ratings. The smaller the micron rating, the longer it's going to take the water to go through and the more it's going to filter out. All right. For instance, this one, if you had the unit that takes four filters of this, it's going to take about one hour for the water, for one gallon of water to go through. A Berkey will take about 20 minutes because it doesn't filter down as fine, you see. So very simple. But the key thing to remember about any ceramic filter, whether it's this brand, Berkey, or any brand out there, the CDC website is very clear about this. You cannot filter out a virus. Remember that. You cannot filter out a virus. That's the most important thing to remember here. Because a lot of these water companies are claim, making claims. There's one manufacturer that makes a straw. They show them leaning down in a ditch, drinking out of a ditch from a ceramics filter in a straw. That's rolling the dice, folks. You can really hurt yourself bad doing that. Because you can't filter out a virus. That's the key to remember. You can't filter out a virus. So if you're using this type of system, a ceramic type filter, for any surface water, meaning from lakes, streams, ponds, rivers, anything of that nature, you better do something else if you think there's a virus present. You don't know if, unless it's, it could be too late by the time you drink it. So any of these gravity-fed ceramic filters will not filter out a virus. So do not use this type of system for emergency purposes from the lakes, streams, ponds, rivers, anything of that nature. I really only recommend this brand or all those other brands I just mentioned. I only recommend them for well water and tap water. Unless you're going to, the CDC website is very clear about this, rolling boil for at least one minute, iodine, and chlorine, now, or chlorine. But the iodine and chlorine need a certain concentration. They need a certain amount of contact time before you drink the water. So it's very important to read the instructions on any of those iodine and chlorine products. But that's how you kill a virus, all right? You still can't filter out a virus. So remember that. Do not rely on the Aquarain, the Proper, the Berkey, British Berkefeld, the, all the other brands out there that are ceramic filtered. Be very careful uh, about using f them for, for any type of surface water. Now, springs are kind of a borderline. Sometimes springs are good, sometimes they aren't. You really have to pay attention. You really don't know where that spring water is coming from. Uh, sometimes they're good, sometimes they aren't. So you almost have to classify spring water as being surface water as well. There's also claims in the manufacturers about, well, how many gallons is a filter? That's an unfair question. No manufacturer can honestly answer that because ceramic filter has very, very fine pores in here. The dirtier water you use in it, the quicker it will plug up. So when it does plug up, you have to remove the filter from the unit. You have to scrub it down with a green scrubby, like a kitchen scr scotch bright, and you basically wear off some of the ceramic so you free up, you get rid of the stuff that's blocking the filter. So it wears down each time you scrub it. So for a manufacturer to say, oh, it'll do 5,000 gallons or whatever, it doesn't make any sense because 5,000 gallons of what kind of water? Was it clean water or is it dirty water? Uh, this particular company has a gauge so that when you scrub this down so many times, this gauge will eventually slip over the unit, you see. It tells you when to replace it. So when this can slip over there, then you know it's worn to the point that it's time to replace the filter. So manufacturers may have other methods for determining whether their filters are ready to be replaced. But to say this will do 5,000 gallons or 10,000 gallons isn't a fair question because it really depends on what quality of water you're putting in. So get that straight about all these manufacturers' claims as well. Um, so it takes, it depend, the, the, the micron size will make the determination of how long it's going to take for a gallon of water to go through your unit. Generally, you're going to be anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour to get through these units. Uh, and I'm trying to get my thing here, okay. 
Um, okay, so I think that's, that's the bottom line for these. Do not use a ceramic filter for surface water. Remember that. Use only, uh, you could use re uh, reverse osmosis systems. You could use uh, distillation systems. These will take care of waters for, uh, for surface waters. Distillation, a very energy intensive process. Uh, a reverse osmosis system needs pressure. So it's also energy intensive and wastes a lot of water as well. And so sometimes these for, for us types of water uh, uh, filtration or distillation, um, and technically neither one is a filter, but it processes the water to make it safe to drink from even surface sources of water. So if you're using surface sources of water, make sure it has a method of killing the virus. And that's what I, the topic of another video about the aqua pale. So and thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Craig from theprepperstop.com or forbiddenknowledge.info. Thank you for watching.